What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. Today is day 364. I've convinced Anderson to hang around for a couple more days till we hit 365. Um, wouldn't feel right just finishing myself. So he has uh, decided to stay, so I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for hanging out for a bit longer, homie. Yeah, no problem. I always enjoy drinking beers, and you don't have to twist my rubber arm that hard to convince <laughs> me to do it. Yeah, so today the beer we have is called 20 Hour Sour with Woodruff Syrup. And this is a collaboration brew between Royal Docks Brewing, they're out of Canton, Ohio, and Lock 15 Brewing, which is out of Akron, Ohio. So um, both kind of geographically somewhat close. Have you had any beers from these guys before? I believe I've had beers from both these, these breweries before at different beer festivals. I know I've had Royal Docks. They do like the Indians-inspired ones. I think they do Rally Drum and some of the other ones like that, right? Right, right. The other one, though, Lock 15, I'm not sure if I've had any of their beers we'll have to i guess we'll have to go look on untapped and figure it out well i know i've had both their beers beers from both breweries as i said at, at beer festivals mm -hmm. and you know how those go <laughs> yeah. don't quite remember yeah probably miss half some of the check-ins yeah it's, it's how it is right uh anyway this beer here is like i said it's a berliner weiss style beer with woodruff syrup um for those of you who are unfamiliar with woodruff syrup like I was up until about an hour ago when I started doing some research on this. Uh, apparently, it's it's made from plant extract and lemon, and it's commonly put into Berliner Weisses to help cut the acidity. So I'd never heard of this Woodruff syrup. Have you? Ever? I've never heard of Woodruff syrup either until I saw it on this can. Yeah, so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see what exactly that does because I'm not quite sure what it is other than a, a plant extract with lemon. Mm, sounds okay, I guess, right? Doesn't sound bad. No, this one here is 5% ABV, 5 IBUs. Um, Ratings-wise, it does pretty good. On Untapped, it a 3.92, although there was only 291 check-ins. Beer Advocate, I couldn't find any reference of the beer on Beer Advocate, so um, not a lot there to, to help you figure out you know, what other people think or what's going on with this brew. But Untapped, I mean, it's almost near a 4, so it sounds pretty solid. Should be solid. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Well, that's, that's an it. interesting color. <laughs> It looks like antifreeze, my man. It wow. does. Some sort of limeade. Yeah, I don't even know. Wow. That is bright green. We go in with these mason jars. They're actually perfect for sharing beers. So is this color on your color chart over there? Let me see. Where is the <laughs> wheel, the color wheel? Um, no, it's nowhere on this chart. There is no <clears throat> reference point for... I don't know what you call this, yellowish green. Um, I mean, you're right with the antifreeze kind of color. It, yeah, it kind of looks like antifreeze. Now, to be honest, like this, I don't know, this is what I think like Mountain Dew or something looks like. That's a wild, wild color. Um, it didn't really get a whole heck of a lot of head on there either. Kind of interesting. Uh, bubbles, fair amount of carbonation. You can see the bubbles going around. Yeah, a lot of tiny bubbles. Smell. That's an odd smell. I was just going to say, there's something there that I don't know that I can... That you know what it is? Yeah, that I can describe. Something, you pick up like a little bit of, of lemon almost, like a little bit of citrus. And then it's kind of like a strange herbal medicinal kind of smell. With almost a little bit of like a candy sweetness. Yeah, like, you know what it reminds me of? You know like when you have those Ricola cough drops or something? Yeah, like, Ricola, yeah. Ricola, it's got that like odd herbal kind of taste. That's what that smell almost reminds me of. Kind of weird. Yes, that, that's a good description, that smell. That, it's definitely good. weird, though, dude. I can't say that Sweet I... Sweet and herbally and... I can't say I've smelled a beer like this before. Well, that's enough it, sniffing. Ready to give it a shot? It doesn't smell like the color. Yeah, <laughs> it might. Yeah, that looks like the color of infection or something, man. All right, let's give it a shot. That's nice, man. Um, Light-bodied... Um, not a whole lot going on malt wise. You probably get maybe like a little bit of a light bready malt, and then you get a little bit of tartness to it. I wouldn't say it's sour. It's not that lip puckering sour. No. Some of the other beers, you get a slight tartness to it, like you'd like in a Berliner Weiss. And then whatever, I assume it's a Woodruff syrup that you pick up there. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like an herbal medicinal kind of taste as well. It is. I mean, it's, and, and there's still some sort of like candy sweetness, but not. Yeah. Not cloyingly or, or yeah. There's a tiny bit of sweet. sweetness, but what's kind of cool about it, I think, is you get that tartness, right? That's it's Berliner Weiss, obviously, but then you get that little bit of sweetness to counterbalance it. Um, you know, it's almost like a, 
what do they call it, like Sour Patch Kids or something, where you have like a tiny yes. bit of sour and then the sweet that goes with it, sweet and sour together. Um, very interesting beer. I actually quite like this. I would definitely drink this again. I know they have another one that's made with raspberry syrup, too. And when I was doing the research on the Woodruff syrup, it said that, you know, I guess, again, commonly Berliner Weisses are cut with the raspberry syrup or the Woodruff syrup. Um, so I, I think it's a, a great combination. I can't say I've seen Woodruff syrup in a, used in a beer before. No, that, uh, that I'm aware of, um, and it is definitely a, a unique and, and good addition because I think this tastes quite good. Um, you know, the color again probably throws some people off, and they'd say, "What the heck is that?" Um, but taste wise, I actually quite like this, and I would definitely drink it again. The color is odd, and I like you said, I've never seen Woodruff syrup ever listed in the ingredients of a beer anywhere. Never even heard of it till this can of beer. Yeah, um, but it's tasty. It's definitely a tasty beer. Uh, color is odd, like we said, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would drink it again. So 20-hour sour with Woodruff syrup from Lock 15 and Royal Docks, you get a thumbs up. Absolutely, thumbs we up. We both drink another one of these. Hey, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Hey, until next time, cheers. cheers.